The Chancellor says he'd be very happy for the government to consider publishing details of how much tax is paid by ministers. George Osborne's told the Daily Telegraph that he wants the Conservative Party to be at the forefront of transparency. While the Business Secretary Vince Cable has told Sky News he's happy for his tax details to go on record. I'm happy to have my tax affairs revealed in the, in the broad interests of transparency, but, but how this is done uh, is very much a matter of the ch Chancellor's pursuing, because it's very important the government does this on a, on a consistent basis. I mean, if you remember, this whole issue was erupted uh, because of a dispute between the Conservative and Labour candidates in the mayoral elections. This clearly has some knock-on effects for government, and I've you know, made my own position very clear, but I think it is now for the Chancellor to set out a process uh, by which this happens consistently. Well, the leader of UKIP, Nigel Farage, joins us live from Westminster. Very good afternoon to you. So the Chancellor says he's happy to look at this issue. Should ministers have to publish their tax details? I don't think so, no. I think the voters have the right to know how public money is being spent, and particularly in the wake of the expenses scandal. I think they have a right to know uh, that our leaders and politicians are obeying the law and paying tax they ought to be. But I think when we start delving in to people's private affairs, to their personal income, um, where does that lead to? I mean, is the next request going to be to see medical records, perhaps your old school report? I mean, where does this end? There is a difference, a distinction between public and private. And my worry is this. Westminster now is absolutely full of career politicians, hardly any of whom have ever had a job in the real world. That's leading to a huge disconnect between politics and the people. And if you start saying to people, look, let's see your tax returns for the last five years, ten years, twenty years, you're saying to successful, wealthy people who've been entrepreneurs and made a big go of things in life, hey, if you do this, if you go into politics, everything's going to be, be revealed and you'll become an object of hate. We want good, successful entrepreneurs coming into politics and not being discouraged. Well, if you're saying that Westminster's full of these career politicians who don't have a background uh, in the real world, as you put it, and clearly those people in the real world aren't interested now, so why would they care if they have to reveal their tax, tax details? It's not going to make any difference, is no. it? No. Look, most of the people that are talking here about revealing their tax details are people who are professional career politicians. Whether they have income outside or not, most of them will have a very limited income outside. There are other people who might like to go into public life in this country who may have income off properties they own, who may have income off estates they bought, who may have made a lot of money in the private sector. There are too few people in politics today who've been successful in business, and the more we head it down the route of delving into people's private lives, the fewer of those people will come forward. Well, Ken Livingston and Boris Johnson, two uh, mayoral candidates for the London mayor election, they don't think it's a bad idea. They are <laughs> publishing, or they're about to publish, along with Brian Paddock as well, uh, their tax details because they understand that people want to know about them. They well, agree with this transparency. Well, I think that Ken is really the biter bit, isn't he? I mean, Ken thought he would expose the fact that Boris had big outside earnings, uh, thinking it would do Ken good. In fact, Boris told us what he earned. Ken hasn't quite come clean, so it's backfired on Ken Livingstone. Um, it's going to be difficult in the short term to stop people left, right and centre saying, look, here's my tax return. But as I say, where does this end? How many years do we go back? Do we look at people's medical records? What type of people do we want in politics? Surely we should not be putting off people who become wealthy and successful. As the Chancellor says, this is about transparency. It's also about trust, isn't it? And trust is something that politicians really don't have. People don't have much faith, much trust in their politicians, particularly after expenses. Don't people have a right to know that people are paying the right amount of tax? And also, if they're benefiting from being politicians, if they're getting work off the back of their political careers? People have a right to know that public money is being properly spent. People have a right to know that their politicians are obeying the law and paying the right amount of tax. Well, exactly. I, I, That's I you're making no the objection. point. No, I would have no objection to every MP being looked at by an ombudsman to make sure their tax affairs were in order. But as soon as you start to publish things that are basically private and family things, I think you're going a step too far. If it's good enough for politicians in America, why isn't it good enough for us over here? Well, just look at the quality of candidates being, being put forward for the Republican nomination. It must be the worst crop of people the Republican Party has ever had. And my fear is we're heading deeper and deeper into this realm of professional career politics. And, you know, look at the two front benches in Westminster today. Hardly any of them have ever had a job in the real world. Let me just bring in a statement or uh, a Labour sources reaction to this. They say Labour wants to see maximum openness and transparency 
transparency in politics. But the first step is for ministers to come clean about whether they benefit from the tax cut for millionaires introduced by George Osborne in his budget when he scrapped the 50p higher rate of tax. Now, George Osborne has said today uh, in a newspaper interview that last year he didn't pay the higher rate of tax. and uh, He didn't say what in his tax return for this year coming, uh, whether or not he's going to be affected by that. But that is of significance, isn't it? Look. A statement by the Labour Party who are stuffed to the top with people who are professional career politicians, who've all, many of whom have done very well out of their careers in public life, is nothing more than short-term political op opportunism. And I, I just think there'll be people looking at this today, people who've succeeded in business over the last 10 or 15 years, who might have been thinking about going into politics and putting something back into this country. And they're going to look at all of this and say, do you know what? I'm going to go and live in the sun. I don't need this aggro. Okay, Nigel Farage, we could all do with a bit of sun today, couldn't we? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.